Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy to meet you. Welcome to Pulsedly Peppercraft YouTube Hop. So this is a, a video challenge that, in collaboration with Anne from um, Positive Peppercraft and maybe in case you guys don't know her, but I'm sure you all, everyone does. I will um, link, put a link down below her uh, YouTube channel. So she has a craft forum on Facebook and she posted um, a challenge for this month and we're doing uh, these hop, uh, some of us are paper crafter. Anyway, so slightly challenge because Anne said that the video shouldn't be longer than five minutes and actually realized when I actually made this project, I was working on at least 20, 25 minutes. So instead of showing you how to make it because it's simply an explosion box and I c you can find plenty of you Oh, I can speak English today. Um, YouTube tutorial about this, um, about explosion boxes. Uh, I'll show you what is my version and what I have used. Okay, so the principle is very, very simple. So you have a square. I'm just actually doing a bit of drawing in here. So you've got a square. I have used a nine by nine. And what you do, you score a three. Okay, and you cut the four corners so you ended up on a little cross so basically you fold in here fold in there get rid of the corners and that's your box inside i have another box which i'll show you in a second and the dimension are two 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 for the lead it's the same principle so you have a three three by three square and you just need to add another half inch for um for the support base in there and what you do you trim there and fold the corners again it's very very simple now because my box is very stuffed with goodies i instead of, of doing it three i made um a three and a half because otherwise it won't close if you actually see closer you can see it's not it's quite chunky and fat <laughs> um so what ha have you? So the uh, the team for the theme for this project was the summer theme. So Anne said to use anything that has got bright colours in it. So I have used the uh, fresh and bright um, pepe pad from the from Max Spencer. This um, ice cream uh, wrapping paper. So what I did, I simply cut the the ice creams and sticked on the box. I also used some. Um, honeycomb um, balloons from Stampin' Up and also from from Max Spencer these flamingo picks so you got 12 okay so this is what it looks from outside and then you got the flamingo in there the ice cream in there and then the a die cut the, the this is a die cut set from Stampin' Up it's like a little bottle with a straw Another ice cream, the balloons with the honeycomb decoration, and on the top there is the another flamingo, uh, hello friend, a sweet friend, and again this is from um, the embellishment kit sweet so soiree from Stampin' Up. Now this is on sale now. I bought it for four pound, and it's come with like flowers as well. Okay, so this is the outside box, and then when you open it. You've got four different sections. I put some um, greens and black uh, organic chocolate and some tea bags. I created some little pockets. Again, dead, dead simple. And then in here, I die cut um, the ice cream in there. I don't know if you can, can see it. Let me see if I can lift it so you can see it. Okay, so that's the, the ice cream in there. I put a little butterfly there. And then in the box, ta-da. There are some um, some more roses from the embellishment kit sweet sorrow and the apple and ears um, lip balm on the box like that. Okay, very 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 simple. The channel that will be really really appreciated. I also have a Facebook group Antonio makes. Please come and join me. We will have some chats. I got Instagram, so come and see me over there as well. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you very soon.